G'day viewers, welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. This week I'll be doing this Matchbox Superfast number 35 Pontiac Trans Am. You can just make out what's left of the Trans Am decals on the door and the screaming chickens gone from the bonnet, but that's the least of its problems. So this casting started out as the number 4 Pontiac in about 1975. It's actually 1974 Pontiac. It's really nice casting. Now, I guess after smoking the Bandit hit it big in 77, Matchbox thought, well we missed out on making a 77, let's transform our 1974 Trans Am into a 1979 Trans Am and try and cash in there, which is all well and good, except that the rear windows are completely different and if you anyone who really knows Pontiacs looks at it, it's not a terribly accurate model really and you can almost see where they grafted the 79 front end onto it. Now, it didn't originally come with T-tops, that was another later edition. I think the first version was gold without T-tops, and they did a black one with T-tops. And again, obviously, because Smoking the Bandit 2 came out not long before this model came out. So, anyway, let's see if we can't return to its former glory. Now it's Dremel time! Um, this one has cars where I painted it and then had to strip it and repaint it again because of the humidity. It came out flat and it was awful, but you don't want to hear all that sad story. You just want to see the end result. So just sit back and enjoy the Dremeling. Bzzz. Now the decals. I did these several times. Um, I found that I printed them on white paper this time so they wouldn't disappear like they did on the packing pacer. I did. Um, I printed them on white paper with a black background the first couple of times. I cut them, put them in the water. Obviously, cutting them cracks and separates the clear coat from the and it loses all the colour around the edge. So in the end, I cut them as neatly as I could and then spray them again with clear coat to seal them again and that seemed to make a big difference. You can still see the edges, You're not, it's patently obvious but it's nowhere near as bad as it was so you know that worked out in the end. So here's all our refurbished parts. I did end up respraying the interior because it had some black Nico marks on it and I could not get them off. And just like that, we're putting it back together. Hooray!
Now a few of you suggested I get a one millimeter Molotow pen. I did have a one millimeter one but it had worn out. So I got off my butt and opened my wallet and bought a new one. And it proved one thing that I think it might be my talent, not the size of the nib that <laughs> stops me from getting them real neat, but it did make it a lot easier. So here we are back at the start with our well-loved and play-worn Pontiac Trans Am. Uh, thanks again Gerard for yet another donation. Um, I think I might change my channel to Gerard's World of Restoration <laughs> soon. But um, in all seriousness, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. This was a car that I wanted so bad. I did have the gold one when I was a kid and I cut the roof off it and I nico pen mine black because I wanted a Smoking in the Bandit one but I could never afford one and blah blah blah. You don't hear my sad story. Anyway, this is what we started with and this is what we're left with now. Looking so much better with its shiny black paint and replacement decals, its refurbished parts. We are eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking ready to take to the highways again. I love smoking the Bandit one. Um, this isn't won't be the last black Trans Am I do, I can assure you. Uh, but the other one might be down the track a little bit. Uh, but I'm working on it. So thanks for taking the time out of your day to come and watch my little video. I really do appreciate it. If you've enjoyed it, why not check out one of these other videos? If you're a regular viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. It really helps me out. It cheers me up to keep going. It lets me know that people think I'm half human at what I do and they at least enjoy it. To a point. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'll see you next Friday guys. Bye!